right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope y'all are doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just hope that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord be with you, that he guides you, he protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better. I pray that your situation clears up. I just hope that the Lord just stays closer to you. And I pray that you stay closer to him and his presence and that you obey his voice, you obey his word, and you just stay obedient and steadfast and firm in the in the Lord. Amen. And I hope that you all had a blessed day, you know, a beautiful day. All right. Beautiful day. All right. If you're going through something, uh, be patient and keep praying. And if you're going through good times, keep embracing it and rejoice. Amen. All right. So today's message, we're going to do this news roundup for the week. A lot of things going on all over the world, all four corners of the earth, whether it comes to health news, whether it comes to entertainment, lifestyle, American news, politics, science, sports, technology, world news, business, just all four corners, science news, buzz news, social media news, just everything. There's always a lot going on in the world, you know. We can't always be thinking about ourselves and making things about ourselves. We have to always make things about the Lord and his kingdom, and we also have to be mindful and compassionate of other people in their situations. We have to also be watchful of what's going on all over the world. We should not be paranoid nor fearful. This is not fear-mongering, and we should not be in anxiety or um feeling depressed about all types of stuff all the time. You know, we just have to have a heart for things and just be alert and have discernment, all right? And, and see what God is showing us through every sign and wonder, whether it's the good, bad, or ugly, we have to see what God is showing us through it, okay? And how can we adapt to it? How can we adjust to this? You know what I'm saying? So let us not be so heavily minded we're no earthly good. Let us not be too wise or too righteous, all right? Let us be understanding of spiritual matters and physical earthly matters, all right? So we could be well-rounded and have a balance about our evaluation, okay? So I'm going to run through this news tabloids. You know how I do my news roundups. I just run through the tabloids and then just close out with prayer and a priestly blessing and just go from there, all right? So I hope that you all had a great week and I hope that you all have a blessed Holy Sabbath, an amazing rest, a good you know, weekend and just um, rest from the vices of the world, amen? So I'm going to run through this news tabloids and go from there, all right? So here we go, news roundup. Okay, let's see what we have here. A judge sentences a January 6th defendant who breached Pelosi's office to six thirty to 36 months in prison. Riley Williams, a rioter, sentenced to 36 months in prison. After Iran, Saudi Arabia to reestablish ties with Syria. More global news in the Middle East. Aaron Mer- Merle Holly is leading the charge to ban abortion medication. She's also Josh Holly's wife. All right, so bear with me as I'm reading these titles and tabloids. I'm just reading them as they're typed, all right? Donald Trump argues he deserves immunity from three lawsuits over January 6th capital attack. What does TikTok do with your data? CEO Shozi Shu pressed for answers in Ted's hearing. All right, so let's see what we have here. People are concerned about things going on with TikTok. Hmm. Let's see what we have here. Parkland dad arrested after being kicked out of house hearing on a gun law. Trump calls for removal of every top official investigating him. All right. Six construction workers killed after a car veers into highway work zone. Wow. In Maryland. Wow. Very sad thing, man. It's crazy. Got to be careful when you're out on the road or doing your job or just wherever you're at. All right. Got to always pray when we get in the car. Pray before we go to work. Pray as soon as you wake up. Just stay prayed up all day, all night long, you know. And pray in the mind and on the inside, okay? Officer who retired after Tyree Nichols' death faces the certification. Strongest tornado in 40 years rips through an L.A. area. Now, that's crazy judgment right there. A tornado hitting L.A. Hmm. Ain't that something? Caitlin Markham's fiance arrested for her murder more than a decade later. Let's see what we have here. The TikTok CEO day in Congress was a disaster. That means the app will still likely get banned or sold, Wall Street says. Trump's legal troubles are threatening to upend the 2014, the 2024 GOP race, and he's not even charged. As far as the TikTok situation goes, TikTok has dropped too much truth and exposed way too many things. That's the real reason why they're trying to ban it and get rid of it, because there's just way too much truth on TikTok. Um, it has nothing to do about data and all that. They just want to cover it up in that sense because everything has data in it. Every social media app, everything on our phones is 
uh, filled with all types of data and all types of stuff. So that's not really a concern. The problem is, the thing is, TikTok, out of every social media app, has dropped much more truth than probably any act ever existed. Outside of maybe your own research on Google or certain WordPresses or YouTube channels that you subscribe to, no app has dropped more truth than TikTok. That's the real reason why they're trying to get rid of it, because there's too many users on the app who just know different stuff that the average person doesn't know with their research or their due diligence or things being exposed, all types of stuff. Like there is even giants and Nephilim and all types of fallen angels on TikToks and different UFO sightings, all types of things, bro. So they're definitely going to get rid of TikTok um, eventually. All right. Let's see what we have here in this news tabloids. Mistakes by the U.S. top spies allow China to turn a deadly mid-air collision into an intelligence coup. Let's see what we have here. Let's see what we see. Track bans transgender athletes tighten rules for Semenya. Hmm, okay. Trump arrested, Putin jailed, fake artificial intelligence images spread online. Parents of Michigan school shooter to stand trial for manslaughter. Hmm. Ukraine war, the front line where Russian eyes are always watching. Newsom gets big when California Senate approves first of its kind price gog and bill. Jeffries waves aside plan to raise debt limit with the White House with the House discharge petition. Bragg fights GOP effort to force his testimony on Trump probe. Let's see what we have here. Let's see. Let's see. A plane crash that killed Christian diet guru and Tarzan actor was caused by pilots spatial disorientation. Hmm. Let's see what we have here. Court orders unanimous jury in civil suit over alleged rape by Trump. Let's see. Unlawful Manhattan DA stiff arms the House GOP info request on Trump case. Let's see what we have here. Let's see, let's see, let's go, let's see. Yeah, there's a lot going on everywhere, you know what I mean? It's just a lot. So we got to stay prayed up in these times that run, you know? Let's see what we have here. Let's see. America is being hit by a huge surge in blackouts, and it's only going to get worse, especially in the Midwest Ohio area. You know, a lot of lights are going out in different parts and people are not talking about it enough. Warning issued U.S. NATO bombers fly in information as show of force to Vladimir Putin, Russia. After giving them billions, the U.S. government wants to bail out Moderna. Let's see. Three dead, eight blind, and four have eyeballs removed after using eye drops contaminated with rare superbug. Wow. Got to be careful, y'all. Let's see what we have here. Biden's energy secretary urges low-income Americans to make their homes energy efficient with tax credits. China says it warned U.S. warship to leave South China Sea. U.S. denies claims. Why I think war with China by 2025 is a done deal. Hmm. We live in fear of organized gangs shredding our cars. Shameless thieves rip our motors apart in broad daylight. Hmm, that's crazy that these types of crimes are going on. Let's see what we have here. Z snubbed Putin after their summit, calling a meeting of Central Asia countries as part of an audacious, audacious power. All of the bills set to increase in April, and a new government supports aimed at cutting them down. Hmm, let's see. Holidays could be canceled as passengers warned of severe travel disruptions. Let's see. Fed up California workers across industries demand more amid rising cost of living. There's also the Starbucks strike, I believe. So there's a lot of strikes going on. A lot of strikes, work-related union, labor union striking together. All right, let's see what we have here. Bank shifts suggest economy is slowly showing signs of recovery. Let's see. Chinese gold miners shot dead in Central African Republic. Russia's Wagner Group among suspects. California's population is on a decline and high income earners have joined the exodus. Home prices are plummeting everywhere but the U.S. 
Blame America's favorite mortgage, housing market. Let's see what we have here. Texas and Hungary. Hungary, Hungary, not invited to Biden's big democracy summit. Iran is preparing for the day after an Israeli, Israeli strike. U.S. should too. U.S. banks are sitting on $1.7 trillion in unrealized losses. Research says that's not a problem till it is. Lawmakers push to ban China from buying U.S. farmland. Low-wage workers got big raises during the pandemic. Now that's coming to an end. Millions of women starving as they eat less and eat last. Africa climate crisis in Africa. Hmm, Let's see what we have here. A nuclear power plant just leaked an unbelievable amount of radioactive water. Hmm. Crazy to hear that, right? And this happened in Minnesota. Google CEO tells employees that 80,000 of them have helped test BARD artificial intelligence, warn things will go wrong. There's also a lot of corporate layoffs, a lot of big tech layoffs. Big companies are laying off many employees out there. Report says U.S. banks are missing hundreds of billions of dollars. Let's see. Let's see what we have here. Let's see. Let's see. The U.S. is bleeding tech workers to other countries. It needs to move fast or risk falling behind. Biden's latest fuel proposal promises to drive gasoline prices higher. Let's see what we have here. Right. Yeah, there's just so much going on in the world, you know what I mean? So we got to stay prayed up out here. U.S. weekly unemployment claims could inch down as labor market remains tight. Let's see what we have here. Finland is offering free vacations for people to come and learn how to be happy after being named the happiest country in the world. (laughs) Anybody wants to go to Finland? (laughs) Let's see what we have here. Walmart laying off hundreds from its warehouses as it doubles down on automation and braces for a new era in online shopping. NASA is tracking a huge growing Anomaly in Earth's magnetic field. Let's see what we have here. China has hundreds of spy satellites pointed at the West in new Cold War. The war on gun violence has failed, and black men are paying the price. China's DF-T-21D, the missile that could sink a U.S. Navy aircraft carrier. Interest rates at banks are an insult. Let's see what we have here going on. Different headlines. Highly religious people struggle the most with faith when they experience suffering. Study finds. Hmm. Ain't that something? Let's see what we have here. Yeah, yeah. So that's just all the news to round up for this week. All right. So much more going on and a lot longer list, but we'll just end it from there. All right. Let us be mindful and watchful of everything that's going on around us, all right? And how can we try to be more solution-oriented? How can we help any problem out there? You get what I'm saying? Work with what we have. All right, let the Lord guide us in these end times, in the days of Noah, in these perilous times. Let God strengthen us and bring us closer to him. And let us live better for the Lord to help others along the way. Amen. And we have to remember this world will pass away, but his words never will. God is eternal, all right? So let's always be mindful of that, all right? Let's detach from the world and the ways of it and the system of it. And let us be attached and cling on to the Lord. Let us hearken to the Lord's voice. Amen. So that's that, y'all. All right. So what I would love to do as I close out this news roundup is to give all the glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, Isaac and Jacob. And praise his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. All right. So here we go. Yes, he is the last hope for humanity. Amen. He is the last Adam, the second Adam. Yes, he is the advocate, the almighty, the alpha and omega. Amen. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atonement sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessing only potent, the blessing only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, 
the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, the wonderful counselor, the government rests on his shoulders, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer. Yes, the desire, of the, na- the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father. Yes, the faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the hair of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the image of God. Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, the king eternal, the carpenter, the king of Israel. He is the king of kings. Amen. He is the king of kings and Lord of lords, king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver. Yes, he is the leader and commander, the life, the light of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord, Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Be Yahweh, Ahia, Shai, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim. Yes, he is the father of lights. He is the father of the fatherless. Yes, yes, the ultimate, yes, the almighty creator. Amen. True, mighty God. Yes, the Lord is a man of war. He is a warrior. Yes, yes, the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the sustainer, the sufficient one, the mediator, my salvation, the messenger, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God, our savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace. Yes, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the resurrector, the revelator. Yes, the revelation, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the ruler of the kings of the earth, the savior. He sits at the right hand of the father. The seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shalom, the Shiloh, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man. Hosanna, Hosanna. Yes, make straight way for the Lord. Yes, he is the son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. Yes, he is the truth. Yes, he is the way. Amen. He is the way, truth and life. Yes, he is the way, truth, and life, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of Yah, the word of Yahuwah, the word of Elohim, the word of Yahweh Shai, Yeshua HaMashiach. Yes, he is the word. Yes, the word of life. Yes, he is the word. Amen. We touch and agree. Yes, he delivered us out of Egypt. Yes, he gave us a land of flowing milk and honey. Yes, he gave us manna from heaven. Hallelujah. He has that outstretched arm and that mighty hand. Nothing's too hard for the Lord. Amen. Yes, we serve an awesome creator, and the Son is amazing for dying for our sins. In the, in the authority and the power name of Jesus Christ, you are redeemed, restored, renewed, healed, loved, embraced, forgiven, redeemed. Amen. Yes. All right. We serve an awesome God, and his Son is so amazing for dying for our sins. All right. So there you have it, y'all. That is the news roundup for this week. All right. Got to stay updated and alert on everything going on in the world, everything going on around you. And always adapt, adjust to everything. All right. Let us not be fearful. Let us be faithful. Let us be steadfast and strong, sturdy, stability. I speak stability over your life. I know things have been a little rocky and a little weird in different directions, but be have that stability. Be firm in the Lord. Amen. All right. So let me just give you all this priestly blessing to go along with this message. Amen. Yes. You know, you got you to gotta have stability, people. You got to be firm. You have to be firm out here have to the lord bless you and keep you the lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you the lord turn his face toward you and give you peace yes amen shalom so there you have it y'all all right i pray to god that whoever listens to this message i pray that you get baptized you start your life forth for the most high i pray that you repent and have no beginnings i pray that you keep putting the lord first and let all things be added to you i pray that you put your hands to the plow and keep working for the kingdom of heaven And I pray that you could bless and help others along your journey as well. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.